in just a few moments. What the? It's hot time. Anh có nhấp nháy đúng nhiều cái du thuyền người hành tinh đâu này? It's insane. The Chargers had real AI robots at their season open. This is crazy. His hands, his hands is as real as mine. Que alguien me explique qué fue eso. Wait. Hi, I'm James LaFleur and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. There's been loads of strange things going on in the past couple of weeks and today we're going to be taking a look at some of these. From strange humanoid AI robots showing up everywhere, to clones, mysterious events and unexplained glitches caught on camera, you're in for a treat. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Back in 1947, pilot Kenneth Arnold was flying an airplane near Mount Rainier, about 59 miles southeast of Seattle, when all of a sudden he spotted nine unknown objects flying in formation, and they were moving like nothing he'd ever seen before. Astonished and in complete disbelief, he reported his sighting immediately, and it was this specific encounter that led to the birth of the term flying saucer and it kind of kick-started all of the fascination that we have nowadays towards unexplained phenomena in the sky. Fast forward to today, where millions of people have phone cameras with them and we have countless sightings of these mysterious objects and unexplained phenomena all over the world. And from all of these mysterious sightings that have been happening lately, there's one specific that's been leaving a lot of people scratching their heads. A couple of weeks ago in the city of Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam, the owner of a bike shop was enjoying his time riding his bicycle at a park. It was late at night and it was about to rain, when all of a sudden he spotted something strange amongst the clouds, something that wasn't supposed to be there. This is what he saw. Rõ ràng là trời không có cái gì luôn, trời đang nhiều mưa bão ở nơi mà. Ban tăng của Phật, ban tăng của Phật đã chạm đến. Chiếc cái tay cổ này. Thằng này. Đây là bàn tay của ai? Bàn tay của Như Lai thần trưởng. Chiếc bàn tay của Phật đang chuẩn bị đến đây để để Hương ơi. Hương ơi nhìn lại chứ Hương ơi. Bàn tay vô cơ kìa. At the time, the bike shop owner and his son thought that maybe this mysterious phenomenon in the clouds could be caused by spotlights or strobe lights from some sort of event nearby. But as they continued recording, they started to realize little by little that this was something else entirely. Whatever this thing is, the bike shop owner and his son realized that it could be some sort of luminous object, a huge one, hiding behind the clouds, and for some reason, leaving some sort of grill-type shadow and pulsating at certain moments. Now curious, the bike shop owner and his son continue on recording this strange event. And this is what happens next. <coughs> Ảo thật Không hiểu chuyện gì đang xảy ra Mọi người nhìn này Tự nhiên uh, trên bầu trời xuất hiện những cái vệt sáng Sau đó là có đèn nhấp nháy này Bất kỳ lạ nhá Xung quanh này Xung quanh tối đen như mực mà chuẩn bị đang có, có nhiều bão sắp mưa nơi này 
mà nhìn bầu trời này. Did you see that? In a specific moment in the video, we can clearly see what looks like an unknown object being ejected from within this strange phenomenon in the clouds. And if we slow-mo the video and replay it a couple of times, you can clearly see this mysterious object. It's there, and it's moving quite fast. After being posted to the internet, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were divided. Some believe that these are spotlights or strobe lights from some sort of event nearby. Others state that this can't be it due to the fact that it's a foggy and rainy day. So in this case, a streak of light, a light column or a light pillar should be seen being projected from the ground, which is not the case. So this has to be something else entirely. But what? Now what makes this even more mysterious than it already is, is the fact that this is not the first time such a phenomenon is recorded on camera. There were other similar events, such as the one in Las Vegas in December 2022. There's a view of directly above the club, right now. What the hell is this? Honestly. Honestly, this is really strange. There's also one that happened in Spain. And many more. The thing is, in these videos, we can clearly see that whatever these things are, it's as if there's some sort of luminous object hiding there behind the clouds or within the clouds. And it's very clear in some of these videos. What the hell is that? Bro, it's way bigger than the moon. <laughs> what? Is that? What is that? I don't know. Why is it glowing? What, what is that? Are you videoing? That? Yes. That's actually scary. I'm on the top of I'm on the top of a building in Cape Town and I don't know what this green glowing it's August 30th. Oh my word. Wow. What is that guys? So I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Is this possibly just a coincidence? Maybe indeed strobe lights from an event? Or is there something else going on here? Something far more sinister, something maybe not of this world? Have you ever woke up one day feeling as if you were in a dream? It's that strange feeling that sometimes we have, we don't even know how to begin to explain it. Some people might call it a deja vu, others a glitch in the matrix. The thing is, in the past couple of years, a lot of people have been getting this strange feeling as if we're living in some sort of simulation. The cloud's not moving and look how windy it is. I'm literally being blown everywhere in my hammock. Stay, Levi. What is this? What is it? Oh! What is it? What that is? And this is the exact case with some of the videos that I'm about to present to you guys right now. Now that's him, I just saw him on my own eyes today. Check it out. Now just imagine waking up one day turning on television and finding out that there's someone that acts and looks exactly like you as if you've been cloned. This kind of reminds me of the movie they cloned Tyrone. Now if you haven't watched this movie, the movie follows the story of a small town mechanic Tyrone who stumbles upon a shocking secret when he discovers that he has been cloned multiple times without his knowledge. And as Tyrone and his friends delve deeper into the mystery, they uncover a large conspiracy involving government experimentation and sinister organizations. Creepy, but it's just a movie, right? Well, this is sort of what's been going on recently with an internet account by the name of Pine Straw. Public statement that AI technology creates an AI robot 
for movie promo and then go change it. Like many internet users, Pinestraw was surfing the internet when he came across this very strange video. This is insane. The Chargers had real AI robots at their season open. Look at how weird. These Completely are. creeped wow. out by the videos. He tried to understand what was really going on. And not only him, the entire internet was completely baffled. Are these real AI robots or is there something else going on here? But here's where things get even stranger. A couple of moments afterwards, Pinestraw realized that one of these AI robots act and looked exactly like him. And this is where things amped up and he started to feel as if it had to be some sort of glitch in the matrix. Yeah, that's him. I just saw my own eyes today. Check it out. But I want to make sure that I get them fever. You see the guy on TikTok that said that's him cloned? <laughs> it said that's him cloned. It looked just like him too. <laughs> Needless to say, Pine Straw started to immediately upload videos to his account asking for people's advice. That you gonna clone somebody or create a robot like that. And then just make it show up at the Chargers game, y'all. And try to bring awareness. And the more I get, bad. Is this possibly a clone? Is this really an AI robot or is there something else going on here? It didn't take long before there were several videos on the internet of people trying to explain this bizarre situation. And this man has come forth saying that basically that clone on TV is him. I'm saying like, hi, I'm the actor, I was behind everything. He's saying like his face, his whole face is literally on that AI robot thing that was at the football game. Exactly like him. But do you guys remember when everybody was going around putting their photos into that AI generator to look like business women? The terms and conditions of these things, it says that if you give us your face, we will use it however we want, whenever we want. Man, this is an urgent warning. Stop following the trend. Better be careful about using them filters on your phone. Cause these people out here cloning us without even asking. There's all this clone talk going on, you know what this make me think of for real though. They already got our face scan. They already got copies of our voice. And the crazy. Now, these are just theories that people are coming up with. And not only that, most people believe that these supposed AI robots are just actors promoting a movie that's called The Creator. And it could be. But it still doesn't explain how Pine Straw looks exactly like one of them. And it's apparently not just Pine Straw. There are other people also finding out that they look exactly like some of these AI robots, which makes it all very, very weird. But it doesn't stop there. When it comes to supposed glitches in the Matrix, there's one specific video that was uploaded by Eric of a very bizarre phenomenon that happened inside his home and his family caught it all on camera. Agua de las flores. Déjalo ahí, déjalo ahí. Kevin, look, I, I we checked the rest of our dishes and look, there's water in here. There's water in here. Wait, también dice que ahí está agua. Sí, aquí tenía este agua. Este, ya me lo eché yo todo en la cara. Oh, it's wet. What the? F yeah, oh my god, look at oh Eric. Oh my god. Apparently, a large portion of the kitchen had been flooded by the water that was inside the flower pot, and Eric and his family were completely creeped out about it. It was already strange that the flower pot was completely intact as if nothing had moved it. However, things get even stranger when they open the kitchen closet and find out that there was water splashed all over. It had been splattered on the top shelves, on the cups, on the dishes. How is that possible if the closet door was completely shut when this happened? A glitch in the matrix or something else entirely? But it doesn't stop there. For some mysterious reason in the past couple of years, there have been several videos portraying what's supposed to be these massive cities floating on top of the clouds. It's not just one video. 
It's several different videos that portray the same thing. And at first, the explanation that was given by experts is that this phenomenon is called a Fata Morgana, which would be a complex type of mirage caused by rays of light that are bent when they pass through air layers of different temperatures. However, in some of these videos, it doesn't look like it's a mirage, not at least a mirage from the buildings on the ground. In this specific video, for instance, we can clearly see what looks like a castle. In this next video, internet users also agree that this looks like a very old type of construction, very different from the buildings that are seen on the ground. But it gets even stranger in a recent video that was posted by an internet account by the name of Crary47. In this specific video, we can see some sort of structure floating on top of a cloud and what looks like people walking from one side to the other. This is what was caught on camera. Did you see that? What looks like a pyramid-shaped structure can be seen on top of the cloud. And together with the structure, what looks like people walking from one side to the other. But what makes it even weirder is the fact that there's some sort of blinking light just below it, as if there's something hiding there in the sky. Some internet users suggest that this is a parallel dimension of some kind that for some reason is showing up on our sky. Others say that it could be a hologram, and some believe that this is indeed a Fata Morgana, some sort of reflection off of a building on the ground. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is going on here? In 2020, a group of girls decided to visit the Northern State Recreation Area in Washington State. Now, the Northern State Recreation Area, located in Sadro Woolley, Washington, is a historical site that was once the location of the Northern State Hospital, a state psychiatric hospital. Today, the area has been repurposed into a recreational space including hiking trails, picnic areas and opportunities for bird watching and exploring the hospital's historic buildings. And it was on a sunny day in August 2020 that Gabrielle Quinn and a couple of friends found themselves in a very strange situation. Gabrielle and her friends were visiting the abandoned insane asylum and it was after they had toured most of the abandoned buildings that they caught this on camera. Ashley. After this bizarre episode, Ashley and Gabrielle got the heck out of there as fast as possible. After being uploaded, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and most internet users were intrigued. Some internet users suggested that this is most likely a wendigo or maybe a skinwalker trying to lure them in into the woods. Others say that this is possibly a recording to do the exact same thing. Now taking into consideration that skinwalkers and wendigos are entities known for trying to lure people into the woods mimicking humanoid screams. It could be what's going on here. Not only that, they did find a creepy message on one of the walls suggesting that there's some sort of entity that lurks the area. But still, I'm not too sure. This could be just an elaborate prank or a hoax, or it could be that they caught some sort of entity like a skinwalker or wendigo on camera. But when it comes to creepy encounters in the woods, in the past few months there have been several people claiming to have captured Bigfoot or Sasquatch on camera. And apparently this is the case with this next video that was recorded by a couple of hikers in Ohio. And this is what happened. He's looking at us. Woo! It's right there. Yeah. Do you see it? Mm hmm Oh wait, that's not a deer. What the devil is that? That's a predator. His eyes are facing forward. Oh yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, draw your. I don't like to look at that. I see you. Those eyes are wide too. Look at that. Those are. And those are big eyes. Hello. 
You cocked? Oh. All right, let's go. What looks like a large humanoid creature can be seen lurking just behind some of the trees late at night. Unfortunately, we can't exactly make out what this creature is, but it's definitely big. And when it gets up and starts walking on its two feet, the two hikers decide to get the heck out of there as fast as possible. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is a legit Bigfoot sighting or if it could be, for instance, a bear. You cocked? Taking into consideration the strange sound that can be heard in the beginning of the video and the way the creature keeps staring at them, it could be that they caught some sort of humanoid creature on camera. But it gets even stranger in this next video that I'm about to show you guys. This particular situation, the person in question thinks that there's a bear at sight. So he gets his camera and starts recording. And this is when he realizes that whatever this thing is, it's something else entirely. Check this out. Unfortunately, there's not much information about this video, but I want to know your thoughts. Is this the real deal or is it something else entirely? Now when it comes to the fashion world, one could say that there's not much mystery surrounding it. But within the luxurious stores, the glitz and glamour of the runway, and behind the scenes of the high-end boutiques, there's one mystery that's been leaving a lot of people creeped out. In the last couple of years, a certain fashion brand got itself involved in one of the strangest internet mysteries. A mystery that involves missing people, paranormal activity, and much really more. Was on me too. Totally, totally on All right, you guys, we're gonna we're gonna go here now. If you look at this, not a doll, mannequin. She is looking down. She's definitely looking down. In the pictures that we took. She's looking right at me. And I'm about to show you guys some of the videos that may actually prove all of this. But before that, let me explain how it all started. On March 2020, Christopher G, one of Balenciaga's models, supposedly went missing. He was attending a party at a friend's house in the Hollywood Hills area of Los Angeles, California, when his car was found abandoned in a residential area in the same place with his phone and other personal belongings still inside. According to FresherLive.com, LAPD and the entire neighborhood launched a search to find Christopher G without any success. Now fast forward to November 2022, Balenciaga got itself involved in a very big controversy, a controversy that ended up in a $25 million lawsuit and much more. At the time, a marketing company that Balenciaga hired came up with a very bad idea. An idea that caught the attention of millions of people all over the world, but not the good kind of attention. This, for instance, is one of the videos that got Balenciaga into this mess. Take a look. What's in your bag? In my bag, uh, like stuff or maybe. I'll hold it for you and you can take things out. Excuse me. Yeah. Look, there's like a, like when she starts to cry, like then when, uh, when she's gonna pee, I don't know. Then uh, when, when she's boring, uh, now I'm pretty certain that you can imagine why this wasn't exactly the best of ideas when it comes to marketing campaigns. It didn't take long before Balenciaga became the focus of several controversies and crazy ideas and theories. This is a massive scandal. One of the big questions has been why uh, celebrities lie. Internet users started to speculate what was exactly the message that Balenciaga was trying to send with this very creepy and bizarre campaign. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger when on April 2023, a woman noticed something really bizarre about a mannequin in one of Balenciaga's store in Paris. 
okay people tell me something so this is a store in Paris this is a man's store in Paris and this is a, a um, mannequin that they say that they made <laughs> and put this in the store this boy look like somebody damn bomb look at his hand wait I'm doing it through the hole look at the boy hands look the hands his hands his hands is as real when I first watched this video, I was impressed by the realistic mannequin that she had found in a Balenciaga store. It's way too realistic and it does have a very creepy vibe to it, but still, it could be a wax statue or something like that. But this is where things take a really strange turn. Not only does the mannequin look exactly like Christopher G, the missing model and designer for Balenciaga. The mannequin also appears to turn its head and look straight at the woman in a certain moment in the video. Watch closely. This is freaking serious, I swear. If anybody have this guy missing. <laughs> if anybody have this guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How oh, if I have this man in another store sit on? Look. Look at that. You see? This this is friggin' crazy. Look at the look in the guy eye. And them said they made this mannequin and put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy friggin' face. This look like the friggin' guy who was in the um Did you see that? In a certain moment in the video, the mannequin appears to turn its head and look straight back at the woman. Is this a camera illusion? paranormal activity or maybe something else. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and a lot of people all over the world were leaving comments and very much convinced that this was actually Christopher G, the missing model and designer for Balenciaga. And well, it actually does look like Christopher G. The only thing is, I did a quick research and Christopher G apparently did a live video on his Instagram recently explaining that he was alive and well. But the thing is, most internet users weren't much convinced. One internet user stated, that's an old pre-recorded live, not a new one. And if the mannequin is a wax statue, why does his jawline look kind of strange? Many others agreed that he still has the same hairstyle since 2020, the year that Christopher G went missing. One internet user made an excellent point. If that's him, why didn't he explain the process in doing a lookalike mannequin and make more videos other than the live stream? And finally, one internet user added, to me, he doesn't look like the same in the live stream. Something is off. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is the case. It could just be a very well done wax statue taking into consideration that there are many more look-alike mannequins in various different Balenciaga stores. But then again, is this possibly just another creepy and elaborate marketing campaign from Balenciaga or is there something else going on here, something far more sinister? What's your take? Now, I've never been to the Philippines, but I know it's a stunning tropical paradise in Southeast Asia, full of beautiful places, islands, beaches. It's a traveler's dream come true. But beneath the sunny skies and palm trees lies a spine-tingling myth. It's the kind of stuff that will make you question absolutely everything you thought you knew about reality. In Filipino folklore and mythology, Encountering a photo or a video of a headless person is often associated with a bad omen or a supernatural entity known as the Manangal. Now, the Manangal is a mythical creature in Philippine folklore and it's particularly something that happens more in Visayan and Tagalog regions. It is usually depicted as a woman with wings and usually is seen at night. Now, I didn't find many videos that actually prove the existence of this Manangal creature. 
What I did find, however, was a series of videos and pictures of people enjoying their time with friends, families, normal pictures and normal videos. But when the pictures and videos are developed or uploaded to a computer, some kind of creepy glitch occurs and the person in question appears to be headless. In the Philippines, this is supposed to be some sort of paranormal phenomena that happens and it's a sign of a bad omen. Now, I did find several videos that portray this exact situation and one of the most popular and convincing videos that I've come across is one of a couple of friends enjoying their time at a party. This is what was caught on camera. Check this out. In this particular video, you can clearly see what looks like a headless person dancing at the party. Now, I did watch this video a couple of times or maybe more, and I still can't see how this is possible. There's also another video where a couple of people are recording some sort of celebration at a gym, and this is what happens. <coughs> In this video, something very similar occurs, but I'm not exactly sure if this is the real deal. And if you start searching for the topic, you'll find countless videos of this supposed glitch or paranormal phenomena. Are these videos fake, maybe CGI, or possibly the real deal? But it doesn't stop there. When it comes to strange and unexplained paranormal phenomena, there's one specific video that's been leaving the entire internet creeped out. It's outside. What the? Too scared to open my door. A couple of weeks ago, an internet account by the name of Alyssa094 posted a very, very strange video. Now, Alyssa is used to uploading vlog type videos of her and her family having a good time. But in one specific video, things take a very, very dark turn. And this is what Alyssa captured on camera. All right, my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing some... All right, put your flashlight up. <gasps> okay, wait, we're gonna look down for a minute, but put your flashlight down. Let's see if we can get it to go again. All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Watch it, it again. That's it, I'm falling off the ground. <laughs> put it down, put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up, hurry. Oh, look at did that. Did you see that? Well, you probably didn't. Like most people, I had to watch this video a couple of times to understand what was going on. Watch closely as the blinds move by themselves, as if there's someone peeking over them from the room above. All right, put your flashlight up. <laughs> okay. Completely creeped out about what was going on, Alyssa uploaded the video to the internet and it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Some internet users left comments saying that she was too calm for this to be the real deal. But I don't know if I agree. People react differently. Watching the video over and over, I noticed that when she flashes the light into the room, there's no shadow being cast, no reflection, nothing. It does seem legit. It does not seem like CGI or fake to me. But I want to know your thoughts. If this is the real deal, what do you think Alyssa should do next? Could this be a legit paranormal encounter of some sort? Or is it maybe something else entirely? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys again.